Hey guys, it's MJ, the student tech tree, and I've been getting quite a few comments around actuarial salaries. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about money. But how much do actuaries really earn? It's quite a difficult thing, especially when you see job adverse like this, where they say that your pay is gonna be excellent plus bonus plus benefits, whatever that means. And that's a big thing when it comes to actuarial salaries, and I guess salaries in general. People keep it a secret. Even when you're applying for a job, they're like, it's gonna be market related. And something else that further complicates it is that actuarial salaries differ quite drastically around the world. I mean, if you're in London or America, like New York, you're going to be paid a lot. Also in Singapore, there's massive demand for actuaries. Then in India and South Africa, there's also a lot of demand, but there's also quite a lot of supply, so salaries are a little bit lower. But I was able to find a little bit, this is for a junior actuary, and you can see that they can be paid as much as £80,000 per annum. Now this is, this is when you're starting out, that is quite, quite a substantial amount of money. Um, once you become a more senior uh, actuarial executive, you can see that your salary could go up to around $300,000, which is absolutely huge. Now, it's important to keep these numbers in the back of your mind when you go for job interviews, because salaries can be a bit of a tough negotiation. Remember, in economics, these are businesses, they're profit-seeking, so they're going to try and keep as much money for themselves, and they're going to try to pay you as little as possible. So if you just go in there and you like, and they say, what are your salary demands, and you just go, oh, I'll accept anything, you're going to be paid peanuts. But another important thing to remember is that your actuarial salary is going to start on quite a small base, and then it's going to grow depending on what exams and qualifications that you have acquired. So and that's what I want to do in this video is, if you're just you know, starting out as an actuary, you might start off with quite a, a small starting salary. But then every time you pass one of the core technical exams, you can expect around a 10% um, upgrade on your salary. When you pass subjects like CA2 and CA3, you can expect a little bit more, and you're going to get a really big chunk once you've passed CA1. Then your two ST subjects that you choose are also going to give you a substantial amount more. Now the one question was, if you keep doing more ST subjects, will you get more of a higher salary? And the answer is no. If you really want to pump up your salary, pass the fellowship exam. Once you get that, your salary is going to spike through the roof. And then, as always, after every single year of working, you're going to be adding on a little bit more as you get more experience. But... If you're chasing the highest salary, I would say don't go and work for anyone. Rather become an entrepreneur because you know what they say, the bigger risk you take, the bigger reward you're going to get. But as always, it's important not to be captured by greed because there's a saying in a book of wisdom that says, whoever loves money never has money enough. So always remember that in the back of your mind and yeah, thanks so much for watching. Cheers guys.